If you do the things that I'm about to tell you in this video, it is almost guaranteed that you get at least one huge nightmare cat during this event. And contrary to popular belief, this is one of the easiest free to play huges that we have had in a long time. So you're going to want to take advantage of this event before it's gone by the end of the week. The huge nightmare cat already has over 9,000 already open in just under two days. And there's still going to be a ton open throughout the week. Watch till the end of this video and you can be one of those lucky people who opens multiple of these huges and makes an absolute killing during these events. Even if you are a free to play player, these tips are going to help you tremendously because game passes don't even help your odds at getting this huge at all. Now, I put a lot of time in the past two days testing different methods and researching different ways that people are getting these huges. So this video is the ultimate guide on how to do so. Let's not waste another minute and let me show you how you can get one of these huges for yourself. Now, let me start by saying that it is absolutely important you start doing this stuff right away because it has been confirmed by the devs that this event is going to be leaving at the end of the week and we know this is a fact because the devs included this inside of the dev blog talking about the backrooms pack being gone by this next update and because we're expecting to get world 3 in this update on saturday it is extremely likely that we do not see another free to play huge event going on in this update in other words this potentially could be your last chance to get a free to play huge for quite a bit now, just like yesterday, I'm going to preface if you're doing anything in these back rooms, you have to be using the hoverboard glitch because it saves you so much time and there's really no reason you shouldn't be doing it. You can do it on mobile and PC and it only takes you a max of five minutes to learn. I'll show you really quickly, but all you have to do is come outside of the back rooms and when you enter, there's going to be a little loading screen with the picture of a pet and that pet is going to freeze for a second. Now you're going to either want to press Q if you're on PC or tap this hoverboard if you're on mobile and you're going to want to do that right before the pet freezes and that's going to be the perfect moment for you to use the hoverboard in the back rooms. Most likely you're not going to be able to do this the first time so don't get discouraged if it doesn't work the first time it still takes me about four to five tries but after a few tries you should get it so i'm going to do it right here hopefully i can get it the first time no i did way too late <laughs> we're going to try it again this time i'm going to use the hoverboard method where you just click it so you can click it or tap it if you're on the mobile device at that exact moment right before the pet freezes that's going to be the perfect time to do it and i messed up all right, so after a few tries, once you're in, you're gonna be good. You can go to the deeper back rooms or you could stay here in the regular back rooms if that's what you wanna do. Now, obviously just using a hoverboard is gonna make things a lot quicker, but you don't necessarily have to. It just is a lot less of a headache going through the back rooms when you're on a hoverboard. And it's even better if you're on a shiny one because that's gonna give you an additional speed boost. But again, it just helps a little bit. So starting off strong, this is actually a tip that has nothing to do with the back rooms, but upgrading how many eggs you can actually open at a time is going to give you an increased chance to get the huge and obviously on this account i have the egg opening game pass as well as level 99 egg opening mastery so i can currently open 101 eggs at a time which is going to give me a lot better chance compared to if i was just opening 51 at a time now you don't need the max eggs for this to be beneficial you should just max out your eggs for whatever rank you're at investing just a few million diamonds could yield you a lot better chance to get a huge worth 85 million diamonds so in my mind it is definitely worth it now my second tip also has nothing to do with the back rooms themselves but it does seem like enchants are actually working on the chances for the eggs as you can see when i'm next to the egg i can see all of the buffs that i have that are going to affect the chances of what i get from this egg so right now for the ender bunny it says i have a 0.36 6% chance to hatch it. Now, if I take off my lucky eggs in chance, you're going to see now it says I have a 0.315% chance. So unless this is just a visual glitch and it doesn't actually affect your odds, it might be worth it for you to be using the lucky egg books just so you could get these better stat pets. Same deal with the shiny hunter book. It might actually help to improve your odds at getting the shiny stat pets. Now, when I'm next to the egg, it also has the huge hunter book here, but the huge hunter book is only supposed to affect the odds of active huges. So I don't think it's actually helping the chance of getting the huge, but it's just something to mention. And who knows, it could be something that the devs forgot. As well as the enchantments, it does seem like potions do help as well. So if we equip all of our lucky eggs books, 
As you can see, it says 0.36% chance to get it. Now, if we also drink a Lucky Eggs 10 potion, that's gonna increase our chances by another 0.02%. Again, this could all just be a visual bug and it doesn't actually affect the odds of anything, but it's just something important to mention that I should probably let you guys know. Now, my first tip for you guys is to not waste hours upon hours looking for that 100X egg. And honestly, most of the time, I think it's most beneficial to just settle with the 20x egg. Now I'm gonna show you guys in a second where you can actually find those 20x eggs the most commonly. The reason why I say you should be doing this instead of just wasting your life looking for a 100x egg is because they made it ridiculously rare to find them. 90% of the time when you even find a locked room nowadays, it's just gonna be a diamond farm or some other room that's not gonna help you much with egg luck at all. And most of the time when you actually do find a locked room and it has an egg in it, it's just gonna be a 50x egg and all of that time you spent actually looking for that room could have just been spent opening a 20x egg, which would actually have given you a higher chance at getting that huge nightmare cat. Now, if you are just running around and you do find one of these rooms very luckily, then definitely go ahead and use it. But this tip is just basically to say not to waste your time just looking for that perfect egg, because if you could just AFK overnight at a 20x egg, you're gonna get a pretty high chance at getting the huge. Now, I'm gonna show you a few of the places you can actually find these eggs pretty commonly so that you guys can do this for yourselves so the first room where you can actually find these eggs pretty commonly and this is actually the spot where i find my 20x eggs the most is going to be this popcat room now the only downfall with the popcat room is that when you're on your hoverboard and you actually go down the chute to the egg there's actually no way you can get back up because you can't climb the ladder with your hoverboard so it is kind of risky you are going to have to reset in the back rooms if you do go down it to check if it's a 20x egg but we're gonna go down it the hole to get down in these rooms is always gonna be the pop cat that's in the corner so over here is gonna be where you go now this time we were pretty unlucky and this is only a 5x egg but a good majority of the time you can find the 20x egg down here and this is a really good spot that i find pretty consistently so that's why i always stop at these rooms but let me show you a couple more rooms where you can find these eggs at all right, so I actually found another Popcat room. So we're gonna go down here and check. As you guys can see in my second Popcat room, we actually found this 20X egg. So this one is really good. I'll have the odds on the screen here from Kopi Cat, and these are gonna be the chances that you can get this huge from the egg. Now, keep in mind the devs did buff it, so it's actually two times the chance. So it's actually a one in 2.5 million chance to get it from each egg that you open. Compare that to the 100X egg, which is one in 500,000. Now the difference there is that the 100x egg only allows you to open it for one hour only. So all of that searching that you could have been doing just to get the best odds for one singular hour could have all been spent just opening this egg and you're gonna get the same odds basically. Another room you can find the 20x egg in actually is this puzzle room. Now all you have to do is solve this little puzzle. Personally, I absolutely despise doing this puzzle. My brain just gets frustrated when doing this. So I usually just go and look for a popcat room, even if I do find this room, but you guys are probably smarter than me and can do this pretty easily. So just another option for you. Now you can also find this 20X egg in one of these rooms, but it is actually extremely rare to find it in one of these rooms, but it is worth to stop and check to see if this is one of them. Now that's pretty much it for your best odds to find those 20X eggs. But personally, that's all I do. I don't even go out looking for the secret rooms. Obviously, I do open them if I find them, but I spend most of my time just looking for a popcat room because that most of the time will get me a 20x egg and that has gotten me two huge night terror cats so far. So I think it works out pretty well. Now, one thing I will warn you about is if you try to buy a path from someone to a 100x egg, be very careful because there is a lot of people in the community scamming people for these methods currently. If someone is selling the method, make sure you're able to pay them afterwards because if you end up paying first, they could pretty much just leave the server and not show you the way. Again, I just don't think it's worth it. Just go with the 20X egg. And probably the best way you can actually get the Night Terror Cat is gonna be by AFK farming the boss battle. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Finding secret rooms is that hard. Finding the boss battle is even harder. And that's where you guys are actually gonna be wrong because I'm gonna show you a method for finding the 
boss battle rather quickly. So all you're going to want to do is look for one of the boss chest rooms that have the lights on the side of the room. Now these actually do spawn quite often so you should be able to find it pretty quickly. So not like this room because this room has no lights on the side but there's going to be a different layout for a boss chest room and that's going to be the one you're going to look for. All right, so I might have died to one of the bouncing balls of death when looking for this room, but it only took me another... It only took me another two minutes to find it, but what you're going to want to do is jump up here on one of these lights. And once you get up here on the light, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to see outside of your area. Now, doing this, you're going to be able to see if you actually do have one of those boss rooms near you. And make sure your graphics quality is all the way up so you can see as far as possible. Now, the boss room is going to be a giant gym, so you're definitely going to be able to see it if it was here. But the spot I'm at is clearly very bad for it, so we're going to move around and find another one of these rooms and try again the other thing about doing this method is it does give you a good layout of the map too so you can know which direction to head in because it seems like in the deep back rooms there are a lot of dead ends so it can get very annoying finding things but if you do this you could see which direction has the most rooms and that's probably the direction you want to keep heading into just so you can go ahead and try to find this boss room now you can also do this method on that's a nice boulder and i'm pretty sure you could pretty much just do this on any prop that is like pretty high in the room now it's kind of glitchy on this one but it still works but this method is also good because it can help you find the locked room as well all right you guys so we finally found it i'm doing the method that i showed you guys i'm up on a light right now and i can see it from here it might be too dark for you guys to see so i'll include a screenshot so it's more clear what you guys are looking for but once you find this you're going to be golden all right so finally we are here at the boss fight and we can finally begin the afk grind on this boss now, a lot of people seem to think that you can't AFK grind it because of the chests that spawn around it. I'm going to show you a really quick way that you could farm this using Tiny Task, or if you just have some sort of auto clicker that lets you click in certain spots, you could do this very easily. All right, to set up your AFK binds for this boss battle is super easy. All you're going to have to do is sit in one of these corners. It honestly doesn't really matter. And all you have to do is set your tiny task to basically click each of these four corners constantly. And that's all you're going to have to do because your pets are going to take care of the rest and actually kill the boss for you. Now, by doing this, you're going to be able to kill the boss basically every 15 minutes, which is actually going to give you a huge chance at getting the nightmare cat. So really quickly, I'll demonstrate setting up the bind. So I'm going to set up my tiny task. I'm going to click right here constantly, and then I'm going to switch it over, click on this corner. You don't have to do it for a certain amount of time because eventually you're going to break all the chests. So I just try to do it for an even amount of time. And then once you feel you're good, you end the recording. And then all you're gonna have to do is just play it back. Now, obviously you have to equip your pets in order for this to work because your pets are gonna be the thing that's gonna automatically kill the boss for you. So as you can see, if I set my bind going, my pets are gonna go around and destroy the chest for me. And once the chests are destroyed, they're immediately gonna go back towards the boss. As you can see, I've done absolutely nothing and it's just constantly going back and forth, killing all these chests. The only issue with this setup is sometimes the boss will block the chest when you're going to click it, but eventually the boss will move out of the way and it will allow you to destroy that chest. So you could do this completely AFK. So I'll actually have the odds on the screen here of getting this huge from the boss chest. Now I couldn't find anything about getting the huge just from the boss itself, but because the boss spawns the four chests at least three times, that is 12 different chests. And each of those chests drop about 12 items each. And because the odds are basically 1 in 3,333 to get the huge from the chest, if you're going to be able to break these boss chests every 15 minutes, that's going to be a very good method for you to potentially get the huge. All right, so I set up the AFK a little bit more smooth because it was a little jank last time, but I basically just did the same thing. I just want to show you guys that it does work without doing anything. So your pets are going to have to do a certain amount of damage to it, and then it's going to spawn those chests. And then when the chests do spawn, your AFK bind is going to enable you to destroy those. And this is going to essentially enable you to farm this overnight. Now I'm going to stop the bind really quickly just so I can show you the math. So if we go ahead and just break one of these chests to see how many drops we get from it. We actually got 14 from that one, but I'd say on average we get about 12. All right, so since the odds to get this huge from the boss chest 
are around 1 in 3,333. If we take the number of drops that we get, is basically the amount of chances that we're getting from destroying all the chests and we divide it by that 3333 chances this math might be extremely off so these are just rough numbers but if the game works in the way that i think it does that means every time we destroy all 12 of these chests we're gonna have a 4.3 percent chance to get this huge and this boss is gonna respawn every 15 minutes so we can basically do this four times an hour so theoretically if my math is right which it 100% is not right. That's probably not how it works exactly. Just know there's a decently high chance that you can actually get this huge from the boss. Now, I have already done this method for about four hours, I think, already. And uh, so far, I've gotten four Night Terror hoverboards as well as three of the Night Terror booths. So this is a little bit of income. So besides those special items, it also drops a lot of really good high value items like pinatas, boost slot vouchers, and even mini chests. So either way, by doing this method, you are getting a decent amount of items and you do get that very high chance at getting the huge. Of course, this is still going to be luck based, but if you do everything that I suggested in the video, basically just upgrading all your egg slots, going to the popcat room and just straight farming the 20x eggs, I think you can also pretty much get a guaranteed huge doing it that way. But I know a lot of people thought you could not AFK this room, so I definitely wanted to suggest this as my main way. Personally, I've gotten my two huges from just opening the 20x egg, but I do feel like this is actually better odds than that. But either way, you would have to be extremely unlucky if you did both of these methods or just one of them for the rest of the event and didn't get a huge. So I hope this video was able to give you some good advice. Let me know in the comment section what method you are going to be doing and if you've gotten any of these huges quite yet. And if you are dead set on finding one of those 100x rooms, watch this video I made yesterday about how to find keys as a free to play player, as well as find the locker room super fast. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.